and good evening, brothers and sisters. My name is Craig Hodges, and I'm on the board of directors here at the college, and I'm also the chair of the presidential search committee. And I know you share with me the exciting announcement that Tom made, but there's more. Uh, and I am honored tonight and excited to announce to all of you in the room and online who the next president of Florida College will be, effective June 1, 2022. But before I do that, <laughs> hey, I've worked really hard on this. I'd like to ask Buddy and Marilyn, if they would, to please come up here. Thank you. You can go sit down now. <laughs> you really want us no. to sit down? As many of you know, President Payne announced that this academic year would be his final one as president of the college. And he served as our fifth president for the last 12 and a half, nearly 13 years. As you just experienced, his love of this school, the students, the faculty, the staff, the alumni, is unprecedented. His focus on keeping the college fully committed to the mission and charter of this school is unrivaled, and I can assure you from a board perspective this will continue in the years ahead. Buddy's dedicated service as our president has been a truly remarkable success and is marked by significant advances in our educational programs, our facilities, and our financial stability. During his leadership, our bachelor programs have grown to 28 four-year degrees, numerous, yes, <laughs> numerous Numerous buildings on the campus have been improved, some of those being Stelgus Aiken, Wilson Hall College Hall, River Cent, Riverview Center. And just recently, huh, there, you have plenty of chances, just recently, the, with Buddy's support, the college raised over $800,000 on Giving Tuesday. A tremendous accomplishment. He, he, with the support of Maryland, they have worked tirelessly to connect with our constituents, increase our donor base, and improve the financial stability of the school. We could be here all night long talking about all the great achievements of his presidency, but be assured he will leave a lasting legacy for generations to come. And, and if, if you were here 
on Tuesday evening and his presentation of the two friends to youth, you will agree with me that there is no one like Buddy Payne. <laughs> so, there will be much more recognition to come for Buddy and Marilyn as they close out this academic year. But one last time, I want you to join me in expressing our deepest gratitude and thanks for their over 50 years of service to this college. Okay, that's one of, of three that we'll be speaking about this evening. The Board of Directors established a presidential search committee to find the next president of Florida College. The committee appreciates all the prayers, encouragement, and support offered to us over the last five and a half months as we've conducted our search. I would say this has been a very humbling experience for all of us on the committee. The committee solicited recommendations from a broad base of FC, FC constituents and the community. We identified viable candidates. We conducted extensive background reviews and personal interviews. All the final candidates were truly outstanding leaders. At the recent Board of Directors meeting that was held this past Monday, the committee reported its findings to the full board. And with thoughtful and prayerful deliberations, one candidate stood above the others. And the Board of Directors of Florida College has unanimously elected Dr. John Weaver to be the next president. In a moment, in a moment, John will have the opportunity to speak with all of us here in the hall and online. But before that, I'd like to tell you a little bit about John's background. He came to Florida College in the fall of 2019, and after a transition period, he assumed the role of academic dean and professor of Bible in January 2020. As the academic dean, he and the faculty have been hard at work in developing and implementing additional fields of study for the college, nursing, kinesiology, marketing, and a specialization in mass communications. Several other new programs of study are in the pipeline for the coming year. John has been instrumental in the renovation of the Chatlos Learning Commons and the creation within that facility of a next generation media studio. He's also led the staff and faculty development, specifically, as was mentioned earlier, the establishment of the first faculty senate here at Florida College. Dr. Weaver was awarded his undergraduate degree, summa cum laude, from the University of Arkansas. He holds an MA degree from the University of Chicago Divinity School, a Master of Library Information Sciences degree from the University of South Carolina, a PhD degree from Emory University with a specialized study focus in the New Testament. He has been a professor at several institutions over his 18-year career with a teaching focus on biblical studies, church history, and educational administration. He, ser he currently serves as a gospel preacher here in the area and has served as a deacon in various congregations. He and his family have always been involved actively in the Lord's work wherever they have lived. 
He has a rich heritage at Florida College. John attended Florida College in the mid-90s. Both of his parents and grandparents are alumni of Florida College. And John is the grandson of James R. Cope, the second president of Florida College. And he is the son of John and Kathy Weaver. John and Vivi have five children, Josephine, Adela, Thessaly, Eben, and Viona. And they reside, as I said, here in Temple Terrace. Josephine is a student at FC, and three other children are currently students at the Florida College Academy. Vivi homeschools one of the children. I can tell that you are excited, as I am, about this significant appointment. It's the beginning of a new frontier at Florida College, and that you, me, all of us, everybody online, our entire community, we're counting on you to give your full support to Dr. Weaver. Let's join together in that work to ensure Florida College continues to be a true friend to youth and continues to graduate students that will enlighten the world while at the same time maintaining the strong biblical focus of this fine institution. I now present to you Dr. John Weaver. Thank you, Mr. Hodges. Thank you for all of your encouragement and your support for Buddy and for me. Buddy, I'm going to tell you, I am not normally a crier, but this moment is going to test my mettle. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm thankful to God for this opportunity, and I'm thankful to the board of directors for their support. I'm thankful for their confidence, to the faculty and staff for their support. I'm so thankful and to all of you for your prayers. I'm very aware that this moment, its great significance, the great significance of this position is not about me. It's about the strength of the Florida College family. It's about us, our fellowship, our discipleship in Christ, our sojourning as the people of God. This moment is about the youth in this auditorium, here tonight and across this country. This moment is about parents and grandparents who are here in this auditorium and around the country. And they may be watching and, and asking, what will the college become now? Should I send my children there? Should I support Florida College? These are momentous questions. These are questions of this moment. I want to assure you. I want you to have, be confident that my wife, Vivi, and I will fulfill Florida College mission, that we'll teach biblically and we'll support faithful service. Now, of course, she and I are only a very small part of this community of mission. We'll serve the mission of the school alongside the board of directors and in solidarity with President Payne and Mrs. Payne and with the faculty and staff and in partnership with friends here tonight and around the world, from alumni and camp directors to partners and donors and other friends around the world. I look forward to being able to meet with you all, some of you for the first time in months to come, hearing your voices, listening about your families, asking you what you want and what you need from Florida College. We're a big FC family. And I trust tonight that you understand why I'm especially mindful of my wife and my children. They've been so supportive of this decision and of this step. You know what, they even voted on it. They really did. And it was unanimous. <laughs> yeah, I'm pleased to report it was a yes, it was. I know you'll pray for them and that you'll support them with Christian love. 
And by God's grace, Vivi and I will be what we've always tried to be. And as I look around, I can't look much or I'll cry. It's what we have seen in so many in this room and many who are watching this evening across the waves. We've seen it in you and we continue to learn from you and from the master teacher and what we have learned will seek to be and that is to be a servant to the servants of God. To God be the glory in all of this. What I want you to know is that the college will remain true to its foundation. It's, it's always been that way since the days of my grandfather when he was president. We will be allegiant to Jesus Christ, submissive to the pattern of sound words in the Holy Scriptures, maintaining daily Bible and, and daily chapel, committed to educating youth for service to God and to neighbor. In addition to that, I'm committed to maintaining and strengthening what we call the FC experience, whereby young Christians from around the world gather in a community of scholars to grow faith and to, to be able to grow in Christ-like character and to enjoy each, each other's company for, for, well, four years. And then as a lot, alumni for a lifetime until we go to heaven by God's good mercy. Before I conclude this evening, I want to share a brief story with you. I'm thinking tonight of a middle-aged father in Arkansas whom I know of and who I know this spring is deciding whether or not he'll support his daughter in coming to FC. Like my father in Arkansas 30 years ago when I was 18 year old, he wants his child to remain close to home and to go to a local state school where there's a faithful church and where the financial costs seem more affordable. Now, in part because of this influence, I stayed at that local college, and I did very well academically. And some Christians, thankfully, are able to have a similar experience at a state university or at a community college and be faithful to God all of their lives. But as for me, after I graduated there, I was as successful as a 22-year-old could be in the world's eyes, but I was drifting. I was drifting from my Christian focus. I had few Christian friends and a faith that wasn't really concerned and wasn't really connecting my faith to all that I had learned over those past four years. And so I packed my bags. Really, it was just one bag and a truckload full of books. And I came down to Florida College to continue my studies and to affect my faith. I came to reconnect to the faith of my fathers, a faith that was once for all delivered but was embodied in the Bible classes of Melvin Curry and in the communication class of D. Bowman and in the church history class of Colley Caldwell and Ed Harrell. And they created in me a life of Christian scholarship that exists here in these students up here, whether they're in Bible or music or kinesiology. It's an integration, you see. It's an integration of, of spirit and of body and of relationship and mind that should produce integrity in life and work. And it changed me. And I came to FC to connect with Christian mentors and friends, of friends of youth here like Donald McClendon, wasn't that an amazing ceremony last night? That's right. And dorm parents like Hurl and Ginny Calvert. Yeah. They, they introduced me to Vivi. And they showed me how to be a husband. And they showed me how to be a better son to my parents and a better brother to my sisters. They showed me how to grow in Christian family. And it changed me. I connected to evangelistic classmates and to a local church here which embodied and lived out the Great Commission. And I became committed to bringing others to Jesus Christ, first halfway around the world in Russia and then in the halls and the classrooms of colleges and universities in the US. 
Others were transformed by God's grace because of what I experienced here at FC. And so what I want to share with that father in Arkansas tonight is that FC is about an excellent four-year experience, but it's more than that. It's about an effect that changes us to be more like Jesus Christ if we give ourselves to it and to him. The fellow students matter a whole lot, but I would tell him it's the spiritual and intellectual force of the classroom and chapel that will prepare his daughter to be a servant to God in family and in other jobs. It's the effect of mentors on campus and in the community that will affect his daughter and that will, that will draw them closer to him and his family in heart all the days of their life, even though they may be separated for a little bit more time in body. As president, I will be committed to this FC experience and to this FC effect so that FC will be the first choice of New Testament Christian families, both because of the excellent academic quality and because it continues to strengthen and serve our families, both in the near term and in ways that it will take generations, even an eternity in heaven, to fully appreciate. May God bless you all. May God bless Florida College. Thank you so much. Two of three, I have one more to go. Thank you, John, and we look forward to your leadership as the sixth president of Florida College. Also, in our board meeting this past Monday, the board unanimously elected Dr. Buddy Payne to the role of chancellor, effective June 1, 2022. And he has accepted this new role, so his retirement was very short. <laughs> At the very beginning, I said he re he's going to retire from his role as president. I didn't say he was going to retire from Florida College. Buddy will be assisting the college in raising funds for our endowment and our capital needs. But maybe more importantly, to echo Dr. Weaver's comments, he will serve as an ambassador for this college by encouraging students to attend, and maybe more importantly, talking with parents about the value of sending their children to FC for a Bible-based educational experience that will not only make them better kingdom citizens, but also highly employable. Please join me in congratulating Buddy on this new role effective at the end of the academic year.